can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's That's meet cool. later at the Undercroft, all right? You're here. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What? If that's what must be done. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large... Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with... So, I shall wish you good luck. I should investigate. Curiosity they teach at Hogwarts. This must be the place. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Nothing. I come here, Christ. Can drink us. Treadwell. The beasts are safer now. Very well, under the shore. Show yourself. My question is, do I have to battle this thing? That's a problem. It's a bit different than the one I saw with the dragons. Maybe I'm going to to do that. Hey, 
I need your help, friend. Off on another adventure, are we? She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. Can I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. No, she I'll didn't. give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Well, Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never... I know. I can't believe she's gone. Oh, man. I was only trying to help. You understand. I don't know what to do. You don't know. You do know. I only hope she can forgive me. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. 
part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, and now the part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. I realize that, but it's the right thing to do. He killed his uncle. We've tried to justify his actions every step of the way, but this has gone too far. It has to stop. Very well. Leave it to me. I... Farewell for now. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Somehow, the key to opening the room. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. Oh, at least there's no crazy challenges this time, I think. She's a strange one, so... Quite the fucking weed stuff. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not my memories should answer any questions you... Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see... Hello? Is it Dora? Is it Dora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father... 
for Saul. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Nipu's right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance, your obsession with secrets. He won't suffer any longer. Not my father, not my students. No one. Isadora, set down your wand. You taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> I wish you have a two of them. They must have been surprised with that, that he was willing to just outright kill them. Fuck. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. To allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, 
I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's... In if Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hog... All right, Professor. Need, here I come. There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is... Something else entirely. I think I can work with what you've brought me. It is done. I slid in the box of the middle. Very nice. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. 
should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Wow, well, very interesting. Well done, Mr. Firebind. My bad. I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Alta Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> Alrighty. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you alright? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself. He destroyed so many lives, and he wouldn't have stopped. I'm glad I was able to put an end to him. You're right. He wouldn't have stopped. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. 
All right then. The key. Okay, I'm not you have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. So we don't ever get to destroy it, we're just protecting it. It's kind of a bomb, you come up in a way. Oh, that's all. It's not the last thing. That must be the way to do it. Keepers coming. Oh, it's one way to reveal something. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you they will in the future. <laughs> Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Damn, the goblins! Yeah, yeah. Let's go! Well, the if his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced the worst, Professor.
Haven't brought us much luck. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. Oh, what? And what? The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Get them this way. We shall make quick work of them. They got this. Running through bitches. I'll admit, this is like movie 8 of this guy, but fucking just epic, man. Like, I'm sorry, but... Thank you, Professor Weasley. Some 
somebody comes to do a bomb bottle on the bridge. She let go of the job. <laughs> Clever woman. Love it. Oh, it's good to feel that the Weasley is in any media that just clever, clever women. Oh, Christ. That's fantastic. Somewhere is not over the fight then. We made it. I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all... Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she... She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. You are now the Keeper of whatever... What do you intend to do with it? I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking... What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? I plan to keep it secret for now. But in time, when I'm ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. And here's the... God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <laughs> Seems you were too Oh no. Oh no, no, okay. This is better than the fucking eight coming for the goal. Did he just turn into a fucking dragon or something? I'm 
gonna fight in the power. I don't want to use the bottom for that. I feel like that would be the blue for some reason. Now, Randall. Protect 
cadaver doesn't even work in the blood. Fair enough. Oh, I get that. I have both killed you guys. Come on. There you go, Patsy. What I'm doing is Face of the spell on your face. And you realize it's a child of food. I don't know if I'm going to go after the drop now. Actually, is it? I'm not sure if it's maybe on this. It is. Oh, Professor Fitch is there now. That's the shape. Professor!
Miriam would have loved you, my young friend. The Wizarding World could not be in more capable hands. <clears throat> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge. He built a reputation... ...charging into the unknown. Brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. Providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion... To adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig. Please meet me as soon as possible. Never imagined we'd attend a funeral for one of our professors. <sighs> Glad Weasley spoke for Fig. She honored him. He'll be well remembered. I only wish we could have done the same for Solomon Sallow. I need to go and see Anne soon. Ominous, there's something I need to tell you. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if you faced quite a fight. The rumor's true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Victor Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This? This can't be. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. You see, since Feldcroft was of interest to Ranrock, it became of interest to Rookwood as well. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw Anne, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. Oh, so cruel. Rookwood got what he deserved. Thank you for telling me. Anne and Sebastian deserve to know, and it should come from me. As we discussed, I spoke with Black. 
Sebastian's with the headmaster now, but perhaps there's a way to get word to him. When I find out, I'll send an owl. I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the moon calves made. I have news about Sebastian. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. I won't be going up there. visited any of the hamlets outside of Hogshaw. Some nice shops to be found. Thomas Brown knows more about books than anyone. Well, perhaps not Madame Scribner, but anyone else I'd say. <laughs> House givers can procure rancid meeting at once.
Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on. And that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even took it upon you. How did you... It's hard. I'm just glad you found such a... While I do not... Thank you, Professor. No need to discuss it. May I see it? What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. You are... What are you up to now? This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we can finish. Yeah! The 
loyalty of Helga Hawkins. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey! of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup... Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, hmm, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. And that is the end of this game. Um, I don't plan on doing everything else. I'm just going to end it here. I thank you all very much for watching. And I shall see you next time. When I finish off um, Digimon Survive. Until then, bye guys.